guys you all are welcome to nessa growth and more thank you so much for those watching my videos i truly appreciate you all if you're coming across my channel for the first time you are welcome please after watching this video feel free to watch every other of my videos click on the subscribe button subscribe turn on your bell notification so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to get a notification so let's get right into today's video i believe you've already seen the title i'll be reacting to the message pastor jerry jerry Eze preached i think that was wednesday message i'm making this video on a friday i wanted to make it yesterday which was thursday but i could not so this is me reacting to the message pastor jerry Eze preached on wednesday the title of that message was overcomer i'll put the banner over here so that you can see it the title of the message was overcomer and his bible reading was from luke 4 um from verse 1 and also he made reference about the scripture in deuteronomy let's get right into the video so like i said earlier i'll be reacting to the message he made first of all the title overcomer hmm that title anyway let me refresh our memories in case if we don't know what look for from that verse one is talking about is mostly about the temptation of jesus christ after when jesus christ was being baptized by john the baptist the next place we saw him was in the wilderness where he was there he fasted and after fasting he was being tempted for 40 days and 40 nights and the message pastor jerry is a priest was based about the temptation of jesus christ we all knew that he was tempted for 40 days right but the only told us about the three temptations that he went through so i love the fact that when pastor jerry as he was preaching he he made us to understand that the temptation was not just a three times temptation like like turning stones into bread bowing down and worshiping me and also um jumping from the high mountain down and god will give angels to like help you it was not just a three days temptation if you look at this scripture very well it said he was being tempted for 40 days and 40 nights so it was a one month and some days temptation it was not just temptation of three times but he overcame all of them i just want to react to the message first of all that message was just so powerful and it was mind-blowing you get he made us to realize that you being in the wilderness is for a reason and the fact that you are in the wilderness that does not mean like you are the worst sinner that is why you are in the wilderness maybe your wilderness could be that you've lost your job or you are a single lady praying and hoping unto god for a life partner but it's not happening or maybe you are married but you don't have kids yet you are looking unto god for the fruit of the womb but it's not happening your wilderness is that thing is that situation that problem that you found yourself in and it looks as if all hopes are lost it looks as if god is not answering you that is your own wilderness so in this case jesus wilderness this was his own wilderness each and every one of us as christians we have our own wilderness and i feel we christians suffer more in the wilderness or we christian are being tempted with these different forms of wilderness that we might experience or come across in life because as a believer as a child of god that is filled with the holy spirit the bible already told us that temptations are going to come trials and temptation are going to come but by the spirit of god by christ that is in us he's going to help us to like overcome because he has already gone ahead of all those trials and overcome them so now he has already gone ahead to overcome what you are in so when you find yourself in that situation in that wilderness just know that he has already gone ahead and all you just have to do is stay in that wilderness and wait for the manifestation of the overcoming situation let it happen also in the physical realm because it has already happened in the spiritual realm and i also love the fact that he made us to understand that you being a christian and being in the wilderness going through all some of these challenges i mentioned and all that 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 does not mean you are the worst sinner and that is why you are going through those stuff most of the times uh, maybe like friends or people that are not really in christ like us maybe if we find ourselves in one situation or the other that it's so difficult and it's not like going away anytime soon the way we may look at it so many people will tell you that oh i thought you are serving a living god oh i thought you have a god why are you going through this i thought your god is going to like come true for you why are you going through it the fact that you are a born again christian the fact that you are a child of god that does not mean you will not be tempted even jesus christ that was god himself but because he was man here on earth and we are supposed to look at him as an example if him being god but the fact that he was in this world because he already said that in this world we are going to face trials and tribulation and temptation the fact that he was in this world like the devil have the gods to like come and tempt him why because he know that now yeah you are god up there but now you are here on earth and the devil fear on earth i'm the one that have the power i'm the one that holds the keys to you get so he had the gods to like come and tempt jesus 
after when he knew that Jesus Christ was already filled with the Holy Spirit. And I also love that part. Let me just talk more about that part. You being tempted, that is to say that you're already like filled with the Holy Spirit. There's, there's something in you that the devil sees that he's coming to come and like thank you so that you will fall. And at the end of the day, you will lose that potential or that blessings or that great miracle that is about to happen in your life. The devil cannot just go about tempting those that he knows that they're like fruitless and all that. He comes to those that he knows that they are fruitful. If you're going through any situation or any difficult in life just know that your breakthrough is 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 here your breakthrough is just in one second and you're going to overcome for the devil to like come to tempt you that's to tell you that if you overcome that temptation hallelujah you're going to like break through and you're going to like break forth and the miracles that will just start flowing in your life is just going to be amazing so i love that message so much and i love the way pastor jerry like explained the fact that he told us that the fact that you're in the wilderness that does not mean you are the worst sinner. that's why you are there and i don't want this video to be so long but when he talked about the temptation you see that part that the devil told jesus Christ that oh you are hungry that was even the first um, temptation he gave to jesus christ because he knew that jesus has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and he's hungry the devil will come to tempt you on what he know that is like this in your face you get he brought food in the form of stones for jesus christ to like turn them into bread and eat if you are not strong you'll be like ah i fasted now 40 days and 40 nights like i've done enough let me just eat and everything but jesus christ have to like tell him that man must not live by bread alone but every word that come out of the mouth of god and that is just so amazing i love the way pastor jerry explained it had it been jesus christ turned those stones into bread in that wilderness he would have eaten it but the fact is that he's still in that wilderness the best thing is for you to like Hold on, stay in the wilderness, go through all those challenges. I know it's not easy, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, we will overcome every trial and temptation. What I was trying to say is that it's better you stay in that wilderness overcome all those trials and temptation and, and come out of the wilderness and eat your bread just imagine you turning the stones into bread and then eating them but you are still in the wilderness is it not better for you to just stay in that wilderness and you know that once you are coming out you are not just coming out to go and buy this bread god is taking you to become a bakery yourself you'll be the one you'll be the one that will own that bakery like you will bake that bread you will eat it it will be filled up in your stomach that you'll be able to even like share it to the whole world hallelujah it's just so amazing and just so wonderful if you read scriptures and you listen to men of god like explain it you just feel so satisfied and so fulfilling that it is over everything is fine god has already done it i love you so much so he said it's better don't turn those stones into bread and eat because if you eat them you'll still be in your wilderness like i said your wilderness could be everything maybe like you are looking for a job and then everywhere you are going to maybe the boss wants you to do something fishy before you can get that job and then you say why don't i just do it and just get the job that is you baking your own bread eating but you are still in that wilderness you get you will get that job but you know that you got it through sin so why don't you just hold on and wait so that god will just bring you out of that trial and temptation of you falling in the hands of your boss and he will bring you out and then set you in the office that you know very well that i am the one in charge like i i, I am the owner of this bakery like do you get that, that for you to eat bread in another person's bakery and he also went for that to explain the second temptation when when the devil asked um jesus christ to like bow down and worship him <laughs> can you imagine like bow down and worship me and i will give you everything and jesus christ like rebuke him with that and jesus christ was always like rebuking him by the word by the word that is why if you see that first temptation jesus christ say it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that come out of just imagine that he turned those stones into bread and eat if the second temptation come like how will you now rebuke him you've already fought for the first one you didn't like stand by the word of god but and once the devil give you one and you fall he's going to bring another one you will fall like you will start little by little it's just like the both of you are christians and you're in courtship you first of all come no it's okay for you to hug her after hugging it's okay for you to give her a peck after that it's okay for you to give her a kiss after that it's okay for you to like smooch yourself after that the next thing you know the worst fornication and one thing is that he always sow a seed in every sin he brings to our front and we fall you see that fornication other people might fornicate four times they will not get pregnant but you see you you that you are that child of god if you just do it once like this you'll get pregnant if you're not even lucky it will be triplets that you'll give birth to it it's just so sad how the devil comes to us with little little temptation immediately before he takes us to the to the next level of temptation just imagine jesus christ that have everything now the devil is saying i will give you everything but anyway in this world he feel like he's the ogakpatakpata but when jesus christ died and rose from the grave he took both the keys of the heaven the earth the hell and everything hallelujah i love the message pastor jerry priest so well if you have time maybe you should feel free to like
like go listen to it again it was just mind-blowing so we don't just only pray we pray we study bible and we get renewed and filled okay there's nothing that god cannot do in our lives or in anybody's life so it's all about the word study the word of god so that when the devil come you'll be able to quote word for word it is written it is good to rebuke him with what god said because he doesn't have anything to offer he still uses those words of god to like twist it around and make you to fall into temptation but if you know what god said you'll be able to tell him that mm -mm, this is not what god said thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end i don't want it to be so long i have so many things to say about that message but i'll just leave it here feel free to like watch it now that and that i'll be seeing you in my next reaction video it's all about the gospel of god and we must preach it and we must say it anyhow and everywhere the holy spirit leads us feel free to like share and subscribe bye